Hi folks, it's Skip here from On Tour Fishing Australia. I'm going to talk to you a bit about tonight about a few whiting rigs. So we'll start, there's about four different whiting rigs that I use. So let's start with the one for uh, beach fishing. And this is using an alvey rig. So as you can see, the sort of length of the trace, I'm looking near about 90 centimetres to a metre, depending on your height. Uh, the, the taller you are, the longer the trace you can often cast with. But so what I do there is it's a, um, a bit of number four to number six true turn hook. Um, and you've got a couple of little bits of winding tube now down here to the uh, to the swivel. And then what I have is running between the two swivels for an alvey. You want to um, avoid the line twist by having a true swivel as the last point in the trace. I have the sinker running down to a soft bead and what that soft bead does is when you cast it stops um, the line breakage at the knot. So that then is the basic widening, uh, widening rig for an alvey off the beach. Now this here is also very similar, it's the same thing, um, same sort of rig setup except it's for a uh, spinning reel so you don't have the uh, the sinker between the two knots. You just have your sinker running straight down on the swivel and that's for a standard spinning spinning reel. Here we're going to focus on the winner riding rig. So the winner riding rig is essentially a paternoster rig where you've got the sinker on the bottom up to about 30, 40 centimetres or so and then a, a dropper of about 15 to 20 centimetres. Again, there's the little cut bits of tube and the true turn hook up to about another 30, 40 centimetres or so to another dropper, uh, again with the same sort of setup, and then up to about a 15, 20 centimetres to the swivel. Now on this double dropper rig, I like to use a worm or a yabby on one, and then on the other, I like to use these little gulp, uh, gulp narrow soft plastic lures. They are fantastic, particularly where there's a bit of movement in the water, in the boat, so you're getting their little, uh, little legs moving, look uh, very realistic and they are fantastic bait. Finally, um, this is a very um, like a, a fantastic finesse rig. It's it's a bit hard to see here. It's, it's uh, very long. It's about 2, 2.4 metres long. And this is for the deep water, deep water widening stuff that uh, the stuff the uh, Youngy does down on the Gold Coast Narang River. So the tiny little, um, here we go, tiny little hook down there and that's about um, uh, number six here it is the bait holder hook number six shore catch that used down there and then running down all the way down to the very long trace and that what that's doing is letting the fish pick up the bait and run and not feel the resistance from generally the heavier sinker in the faster running water and again there's that sinker on the soft beat down to the swivel so then they're the four key types of rigs in terms of the gear with it. I've got, um, I generally use about a six pound fluorocarbon lead and that's Sunline, a fantastic variety. Um, here are the green soft beads um, that I'm referring to, which are fantastic stoppers for the, um, uh, for the sinkers. A couple of uh, true turn hooks, which are uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic for the fixed fish, as is a mustard uh, fine worm. Um, also, too, you can buy the little red beads. What I like to do is cut them into fine pieces of about a centimetre to two centimetres long. I don't use, like to use a long one because it's a bit of added weight and the fish will pick it up and feel that. I like to chop it into little pieces. Um, and then we have some uh, uh, cheap, they do the job, the um, black swivels. Um, generally on bigger fish, I'll, I'll, I'll use um, better quality swivel, but generally that, uh, they're fine. Then to make the rigs up, I wrap them around a couple of pool noodles and I and I essentially refer what they are. So these are winter widening rigs, they're the Nareen River and there's some beach rigs. And to wrap them around the noodle, just use these colour pins available from uh, most um, uh, department stores, etc. So there you have it. These are four key widening rigs that I hope you, uh, you can use in your own area. Um, so, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I hope you get a few fish and um, jump on to a fish in Australia. Cheers.